Your administration said your visit will set a tone for China-Philippines relations in the next five, six years. Uh, what kind of tone do you think has been set? What is the most important outcome of your trip? I think gives us an, further opportunities to strengthen our relationship. And I think uh, there will, there, what difficulties there might be present with the um, uh, territorial claims in the South China Sea. I think we are go good friends, China and the Philippines. And these things happen between even good friends. But good friends stay good friends, even if we have these problems. And good friends talk about the problems and resolve them in a nice and equitable and uh, uh, to find a way that is uh, mutually beneficial to both, to both countries. And that's the way I see it's, it, it is going. And the, the groundwork, the foundation that has been laid, that was laid since 1974 and subsequently with my father coming, uh, the actual um, uh, formalization of, of diplomatic relations, uh, I think uh, to, to, to see how that the groundwork that laid down is a very solid foundation on which we continue to build. And that's, I think, uh, the future for the Philippines and China. Yeah, you talk about the importance of sticking with bilateral consultations. You're not a big fan of outside intervention. And you said, and I quote, uh, the problems are with us and China. If the Americans come in, it is bound to fail. Can you elaborate your thinkings behind the statement? I said that at the point where uh, we were having discussions with China, it was in two previous administrations, and it was um, the Americans offered to be the third party between China and the Philippines. And I said, that's not going to succeed uh, because you're a party in interest. It has to be between the Philippines and China. It can involve ASEAN um, because ASEAN, of course, is part. But it has, to be a, it has to be someone from the region who, uh, who's, who has an interest in uh, Asia Pacific. And I think that, that that statement has now evolved into the thinking that uh, the, the future of the Asia Pacific region must be decided by the Asia Pacific region, not anyone else.